Hello, friends, and welcome to Sleep Tight Stories. The Sneezing Toucan is a story by Jim Monroe. If you would like to purchase a copy of the book, you can find out more about it at www.rhymesforlife.com. I'd like to say hello to some friends. Hello to May Rose. Hello to Ruby and Tiffany from Texas. Hello to Cash, who is five years old and lives in Snellville, Georgia. And hello to Quinn and Lulu from Bend, Oregon. Thank you so much for supporting us via our premium feed or Patreon. Your support means a lot to us. Have you ever wanted a pet? What kind of pet would you like to have? Today's story is about a little boy who wants a pet, but has to find one that his mom will also like. He goes to the pet store to see what he can find and comes home with the one he hopes his mom will like. The Sneezing Toucan Another Saturday morning, and I was riding my bike, headed to town with my hair in a spike. I really wanted to find just the right pet and hoping my mom would not get upset. She doesn't like snakes or lizards or cats or hamsters or pigs No, nothing like that. No dogs, fish, or turtles, and no rabbits, of course. And I'd better not think of ever getting a horse. I thought about monkeys and baby goats, too, and I'm certain a chicken just wouldn't do. So into the shop, I went looking around, wondering if the right pet would ever be found. Two puppies were wrestling, a shepherd and collie. There in the tank swam a whole school of mollies. Three Siamese kittens in a box on the floor, and gerbils and ferrets scurried all through the store. A seven-foot python slithered in a large crate. Although Mom wouldn't like it, I thought he was great. Then I noticed a cage sitting way in the back. Inside stood a bird whose feathers were black. His neck a bright yellow, his feet a pale blue. His nose painted orange and red and green, too. What a beautiful bird, I said to myself. I wonder why he's back here on the shelf. While I stood there just staring at the gorgeous toucan, I felt a tap on my shoulder from the old pet store man. He said, son, You don't want that big-nosed black bird because he's got a problem that's really absurd. In fact, he does something that you just won't believe. That big-nosed black bird can do nothing but sneeze. Well, I stood there a moment, not sure what to do, when all of a sudden, that bird went, Achoo! The man checked his watch. It was a second past ten. He said, In one hour, he will do it again. Hour by hour, that bird just won't stop. So I placed him here, in the back 
of the shop. I tried every cure from far and from near, but he keeps right on sneezing. It's been over two years. Bottles and bottles of pills, big and small. As far as concoctions, well, I've tried them all. That man rambled on for 30 minutes, I bet, about potions and lotions and trips to the vet. Well, I thought and I thought and then asked the old man, how much do you want for that sneezing toucan? He's been here a long time, so I'll sell him half price, and the cage will be free. But take my advice. At night you will want an earplug or two. And when he had said that, the bird went, Achoo! I glanced at the clock that hung over my head. Just after eleven, is what the hands read. So I paid for the bird, tied the cage to the bike, and hoping a toucan was something mom likes. As I pedaled home, my stomach started to flip, and my knuckles turned white from a very tight grip. I walked in the kitchen, set the cage on a chair, and Mom stopped in her tracks and started to stare. Well, I got him half price, and just look at that beak. With all of those colors, he sure is unique. He's got one small problem, and it's not a disease. So don't be surprised when you hear his big sneeze. Mom said, yes, that toucan is one gorgeous bird, but I'm not convinced it's a pet I prefer. But I will be fair and I'll give you three days. And if he can quit sneezing, then I'll let him stay. The grandfather clock started chiming a tune. The toucan sneezed loudly. It was just afternoon. Mom said, hearing him sneeze can be quite a shock, but it's not as loud as those bongs from the clock. Day number two, and I needed a plan. So I put fruit and veggies inside a large pan. I fed him at breakfast and I fed him at lunch. All through the day, he continued to munch. The toucan ate cherries and carrots and beans and apples and corn and two tangerines. I tried melons and grapes and celery and peas but that bird, like a clock, just continued to sneeze. As I crawled into bed, I heard my mom say, if he still sneezes tomorrow, you know he can't stay. I must leave in the morning. I'll be back afternoon. You better think of a cure, and it better be soon. The next morning came fast, and I heard the loud chimes. That toucan sneezed hard at a second past nine. Then I got an idea that I thought might succeed. So I grabbed all the tools that I thought I would need. I found the brass key slid it into the lock, and removed every chime from the grandfather clock. 
I made a shelf for the cage. The toucan looked great. Then removed the glass door as mom came through the gate. She came through the hallway and looked at the bird and her mouth opened wide, but did not say a word. Well, the bongs were much louder compared to his sneeze. So I took out the chimes and I thought you'd be pleased. Then her face began melting and she said with a smile, well, it looks like that bird can stay quite a while. Now our clock is unique and the toucan is too. It was a tick after one, and all we heard was, ah, 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 chew. And that's the end of our story. The Sneezing Toucan by Jim Monroe. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs>